Sam here. As you know, I uh, went fishing last night, or yesterday rather, and we caught some uh, yellowtail and some porgies, so, um, and one rainbow runner. So I'm getting ready to clean them and cook them. Show you how I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do it really simple, where I'm just gonna be scaling most of the fish and gutting it and I'm gonna leave it whole because I want to pan fry them so here's the fish we caught yesterday okay I got my uh, water going from my filet table that I made uh, last week and I got this fish scaler it's made of brass and it does a really, really good job. There's all different kinds you can buy, but this one is from Japan. And basically, you just start from the back and just pull it to the front. And the scale comes right off. And that's why we want the water running because you see how it drains everything to the back into that hole right back here and the hole behind it I have a uh, strainer that's catching all the um, fish scales I normally try to scale all the fish first that way I can clean the table off before I start cutting anything so I don't get no scale inside my fish Okay, so the way we take the skin off, you start at the back, aim your knife downward toward the skin. Once you get it started, you just scissor back and forth and you can pull the skin at the same time. And everything comes off. Well, sometimes you gotta trim it depending on
okay? So everything came off of there, and then there's a bloodline right down the middle. And normally, there's also a bone on the other side. So if you cut it about three quarters of the way of the flay, you can get the bone and the bloodline out at the same time. See? And you basically you angle the blade because the bloodline doesn't go all the way through. And you can keep a little bit of it, but you don't want the whole thing. And there you go. Okay. So on the yellowtail snapper, as I said, um, I want to keep it whole so I can pan fry the whole thing. And all I'm going to do is gut it and uh, clip clip off the uh, tail and the, and the fins. So really simple. I like to keep it whole. Um, I don't want to flay it. I've already taken out the scale. So, simply start right there where the anus is. Work your way all the way up to the front. Reach inside. Pull that out. And then it's all stuck right there in the front. And everything comes out in one shot. We also take out the little fence. You don't have to, but I just like to take them off. It's a lot easier. That way while I'm eating it, I don't have to do it later. Now another thing I like to do with these fish, especially when they're fat and thick like this one, it, it's hard to cook evenly. So I make a couple slices in them. You don't have to go too deep. And that's all you do. Plus the seasoning will get inside there as well. And then it, the fish doesn't coil up on you when it cooks. You can see there's all the fish there. The flay came out good. And my catch strainer behind my uh, cutting table that I built works perfect. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen now. Uh, we just finished cleaning our fish outside, as you saw. Um, I'm gonna cook the yellowtail snapper and this is very very simple anybody can do this and it's quick and easy um, so here we go and all we're gonna use is very simple some salt some pepper uh, garlic powder and butter soy sauce and lemon and that's it very simple okay so we're gonna take a little bit of salt both sides a lot of people they only um, season one side but we eat both sides of the fish so we want to season both sides like I said very simple dish garlic powder. Now, I like a lot of garlic powder in mine. If you don't like so much then of course you can use a little bit less. But a lot of it comes off in the pan while you're cooking. So I put a good amount on. I love garlic powder. Okay. And I just usually pat it down a little bit. Flip it over to make sure that uh, all the seasoning 
gets in there. All right, we're gonna take some oil and put it in the pan. Now, we don't wanna go crazy with the oil, but we do want a little bit more than normal, only because that's gonna end up seasoning our fish later on, you'll see. So you just, you wanna be able to coat the whole thing. So now that it looks like it's really hot, take a fish, just lay that right in there. Take the other one, put it on the other side there. Now we'll let that cook for, I say, about eight minutes or so on one side. It all depends how thick the fish is and how hot your pan is. Now once the fish is starting to cook, you'd want to turn the temperature down to a uh, medium. You don't want to burn all the seasoning in there. All right, it's been about seven, eight minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and flip the fish. We'll go around a little bit so it's not stuck to the bottom there. Wow, look at that. How pretty is that? Now we'll just let that cook for another seven to eight minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna add some butter. So we're gonna add a couple of lemon slices inside. And then we're gonna turn the fire up at this point. And now that the fire's gotten hotter, we're gonna sprinkle soy sauce on it. Put a generous amount. Break it up in the pan. Let that reduce for a minute. The fish is done, we can take it out. sauce mixture All right, take that soy sauce mixture inside there and you drizzle that on top of your fish so all that seasoning in there that was inside the pan and there you have it Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this is the uh, porgy that I had flayed up for you. So uh, this dish is very simple. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, olive oil directly on it. And the reason we do that because we want the seasoning to mix into everything and olive oil help does that as well. So just mix that in a little bit. All right, and once again, we'll put a little bit of salt. And flip it over. I like to make sure I season both sides 
a lot of people they just do one side but I like to do both sides because I believe we eat both sides and more flavor mm -hmm. okay and uh, with some pepper I like to use garlic powder on a lot of my cooking. So flip that over. And we'll do that. But this time we'll just drizzle some on. We're not gonna go crazy with it. Okay. And then we'll use some of this um, Everglaze seasoning. that over do the other side all right we'll put some olive oil inside a pan pan is hot we're gonna turn that down some okay so we put in some uh, fresh garlic and we put in some shallots and we're gonna put the fish right on top of that And to that, you add some butter. And we'll just let that cook. Probably about four or five minutes on one side, maybe not even that long because this is a uh, thin fillet. I'm gonna go ahead and flip all these for about four minutes. Now we're gonna squeeze in just a hint of lemon. That's it. All right, so it's done now, we'll turn that off. Pick it up. Mm. Look at that. Beautiful. So there you have it. So there you have the yellowtail snapper and the porgy. Now that porgy, I can't resist. I have to take a bite. Mm. Never throw your porgy away. It's one of the best fish to eat. Stay tuned for the next video.